Okay, so Harvey Ween Weinstein has been, he's gotten in trouble because of uh, sexual harassment allegations. He's been fired from his own company. Now he's going for um, rehab, sex or whatever, sex addiction therapy or some bullshit like that in Europe. And his wife is leaving him. So anyway, so Harvey Weinstein, he was a big Hollywood executive guy. He produced movies. I think he produced Pulp Fiction and a bunch of other hit movies. Um, now there's been long stand. I guess there's been long long standing allegations or rumors in the um, uh, industry that he was a sexual predator, basically. And they had a, they did a sting on him in 2015. The NYPD did a sting on him, where they sent, um, I guess, an actress or a model, accused him of of uh, groping her, and then he, um, they sent her in with a a wire, a hidden wire, and she recorded him basically admitting that he had groped her before, and then he was trying to he was uh, he was uh, still trying to get her to come inside to his his hotel room or whatever so anyway and th there's been all kinds of allegations of him groping women and sexual assault and sexual harassment and um one woman said he i don't know masturbated behind her and got her to give him a massage and all kinds of, there's all kinds of these allegations of him basically being predatory towards women being a sexual predator now, I'm sure he's not the only one in Hollywood who does this. Um, I suspect there's people always talk about casting couch. There's been a, a long time for a long time. There has been there have been rumors about um, how Hollywood people basically actresses actresses have to have sex in order to get roles and all this stuff. And I suspect it's true. Harvey Weinstein is probably just the tip of the iceberg there's probably a lot of this has probably been going on for a long time and I suspect that in Hollywood there's probably uh, um, directors and, and industry people who do this to men women and children so um, so for example um, Terry Crews came forward and said that he was he had some Hollywood executive or some industry person groped him, I, I think grabbed his genitals or something, in front of his wife. Um, Rob Schneider, a comedian Rob Schneider, comedian and actor, he, he gave an interview saying that he had some director tell him, some director wanted him to um, crawl around or do some type of sexual thing for him so there they have some some of these uh hollywood people are molesting or trying to molest men sexual sexually harassing other men um i'm sure they do it to children as well actually there's a there is a guy um a guy who directs horror films i think his name is something salva salva something um he directed Jeepers Creepers he was actually um, he was arrested or convicted of sexual assault um, let's see I'm gonna try to his name is something Salva um, Victor Salva Victor Salva he directed Powder and Jeepers Creepers and he was uh, convicted in 1988 for sexual molestation of a 12 year old male actor who was in one of his films, who was a star of one of, one of his films and for possessing uh, child pornography and videotaping himself molesting the 12 year old actor. And then after he, after he was convicted of the scent of um, the molest molesting one of his actors, he was released from prison and he went back to um, to directing films for Hollywood, basically directing children's films or films with uh, children, and um, having these these young male stars in his vid in his um in his films. So basically, Hollywood. I mean, there's a guy who 
this guy's convicted of molesting a 12 year old boy and they they let him go back and direct movies with young male stars with uh, 12 year old boys or whatever 13 12 13 year old boys anyway that doesn't make sense to me but my point is just that i think that there's a lot of these people in the in hollywood whether they're molesting or whether they're out there trying to use their positions to molest um women or men or children or boys or girls and uh, that might be why you see these young hollywood stars these child actors who uh when they grow up they get they're messed up they're on drugs maybe they're taking all those drugs to try to uh forget how they got molested when they were little kids um so anyway i do think that there's a lot of these sexual predators predators in hollywood and it isn't just weinstein or weinstein or whatever his name is um it's a lot of them now i'm not sure why they chose to uh take down weinstein at this particular point in time i mean i suspect there's probably some kind of ulterior motive there going on maybe somebody it was a business dispute somebody was trying to take over his company or um he could have he, he could have even just been he molested the wrong person and he pissed off somebody or it could have been he pissed off a lot of people for a long time and then this was a time with, that they had the opportunity to take him down um i know that they say uh, um obama former president obama had his daughter was uh, working for weinstein so Maybe he did something, he tried to do something to, I think it was Malia, to Obama's daughter, and then that got him in trouble. Then uh, then he got taken down because of that. I don't know. But there's some, some, uh, some kind of, some thing was going, is going on behind the scenes as to why he was taken down. Some kind of dispute or something. Something was going on, but I don't know. But anyway, so... My point is, Weinstein is not the only one. I'm sure he's not the only one. There's, I'm sure there's lots of them preying on children, preying on men, preying on women. And um, not just the, even in Hollywood, but in the entertainment industry in general, say the music industry, for example. Um, there's a woman from the Pussycat Dolls who came out recently. Um, I can't remember her name, Jojo or something. Anyway, I. I have to look up look up her name, but one of the pussy former Pussycat dolls, she came out and said that the Pussycat dolls were basically just a front for prostitution and that they were passed around by music executives. Um anyway, and so um, I think this happens a lot in the music industry or entertainment industry, Hollywood, film industry. <laughs> 